he would have he would have benefited from having a little uh he would have benefited from being he he definitely would benefit from being a little faster so yeah yeah not even not even by much just like a few frames on everything like one or two and it would change quite a bit in his kit but i want a I want Smash Ultimate 2, basically. I don't want a brand new Smash game where they cut cut the roster because look, do what Mario Kart what Mario Kart 8 did. There we go. Yeah. Do what Mario Kart 8 did with Smash because for Smash it really worked. Mario Kart 8 really needs more characters. It needs a bunch of other things. Yeah. But Smash Ultimate doesn't really need. Anything but mechanics of proven and stuff, which you could do with the Smash Ultimate too. Yeah. But still, and and you could put time into things, into things. You know, you could put time yeah. into everything that you couldn't with a newer game because then you're building the engine and everything, and you're struggling to do everything else. So balance is gonna take a hit yeah. or something. You know. Yeah. Well, I will say like. It's it's hard to say what's going to happen, because I think everyone's kind of knows that there probably is going to be uh, a, uh, a another Smash Ult another Smash Bros. Right, but the question is just because of what it does. Like this game is too big for them not to make another one. But the question then becomes, what? What is going to be the future of it? Because they have two options, right? They can either make a brand new game, or they could uh, just, I guess, put this one back out, but with a fresh cone of paint. And I think the problem is, is that there's 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 pros and cons to both. So why am I going so slow? I feel like I'm going slow. Um, um, and the 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 biggest thing that's going to definitely affect it is that Sakurai says that he's not making it anymore, right? So, so it's an opportunity to make something fresh and new, right? But at the same time. Like, if you don't have Sakurai on the helm, then if you're trying to make something fresh and new, then you're, you risk making something really bad. And not only that, like, this game is, this game is just so big. It's not just a system seller. It puts your game on the spotlight. Like, nobody knew about Earthbound until, until Smash Bros. Um, Persona wasn't a big game until Smash Bros. Um, so, and then, and then not only that, another thing you have to think about is that Smash Bros. is big enough to where it got Sora in Smash. Smash Bros. is big enough to where it got Steve in Smash. Right? So, it's, a. Uh, like, would if they did just port it over, they probably would be able to renew some of the licenses and stuff. Kind of do what they did with the Wii U and keep all the characters, but like, um, just keep adding more, right? And just have it that way forever. And just, it will be like a true testament of gaming history. But at the same time, you know, you you basically you're just going to keep ult the a version of Ultimate forever, which isn't the best, right? Just because this game or not <laughs> Smash, while uh, Smash Ultimate, while being almost like like I would give it an eight out of ten, like it's got almost everything down, but there are some things that really bug me, right? Online. Online could be better. That's something they that could easily fix with the new game. Um, but but even then, things are things are essential to the equation. Like, um, 
like it bugs me at the fact that um, that final smashes that they're not balanced right um, so because they're not balanced we still the meta hasn't changed since melee um, uh, there aren't uh, more the some of the stages in the stage list like they aren't exactly uh, I don't know they're, they're not the, the most amazing either um, so oh I, I my freak I accidentally pressed my, my brain fried out and then another thing as well is that like characters age, right? So Joker, like as a DLC character, yeah, he's in the game, but he's not going to be as relevant in the future. Um, Pyra and Mithra, as big as they are, they're not going to be as relevant in the future. So sometimes it's okay if characters get phased out or weeded out. Um, I mean, do we, do we really need three links that all do the same thing, right? Uh, and you know, maybe a new Smash game would be able to change that. Uh, I mean, so, I don't know, it's, Sora, Sora is a character that evolves, so having a different Sora is a potential as well, right? So, uh, I don't know. Knowing Nintendo, they're probably going to try to go with the, just making a new Smash, a brand new Smash route. Just because for them, it would be like, they like the concept of keeping things fresh and new. If they can't make a new concept. Mario Kart. Huh? They didn't do that with Mario Kart. No, they didn't do that. Well, Mario, well, no, they tried. Like... Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is, by all intents and purposes, a port. Um, but they did try. Like the the way the way that they the gravity mechanics are, instead of just being flat, but you actually go up and around and upside down. Um, uh, they balance. They uh, no every character like there's weight distribution. There's cart, tire, parasol distributions. So. This is low key an eSport. <laughs> this is not a very popular or well known one, right? So they do try with Mario Kart. It's just it's hard I think it's just hard to come up with new concepts for cargo on track. <laughs> right? Make cargo fast. So I mean and that's the that's the biggest reason why they have with what they have with F Zero. Is that F Zero is just cargo on track go fast, so it's a uh, so Mario Kart the, and not only that like Mario Kart is a uh, it is a system seller. Um, it's not the one that we associate with, but Mario Kart Eight Deluxe is still technically the highest selling Nintendo Switch game. So like like how can you argue with those results, right? So, if it's the, the highest selling game, they're going to, they're going to, oh, actually, I, I, I probably need to check up on that. There's a chance that New Horizons might have beaten it, but New Horizons did come out at a very weird and awkward time, so, um, I went to I got I got too close so yeah uh, when it comes to smash I think they'll probably they'll probably make a new one with the new developer I don't think they'll do a port and even if they did a port some characters would be cut and yeah it better not cut Pichu I don't know. He was cut once already. <laughs> we 
don't talk about that here. <laughs> it's a shame because they cut out characters because they were too close to the original and then they added them back in just to have everyone in there. And then Peach, if they cut people out, they'll probably cut them again because they're too close to the original. <laughs> so. That doesn't explain with Sita and Marth. Dude, the Tipper and Marth changes the character so much. He too has more differences than Lucina to Marth does. That's true. But even then, like, the... The concept... Pichu does different combos. Pichu plays different neutral. Marth has different combos. Marth plays different neutral. Then you shouldn't bash Pichu so much. I'm not mashing Pichu. I'm saying that there's a chance that Lucina is probably not going to be in the next game either. <laughs> they brought back Dr. Mario in Smash 4 even when he was cut. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then there's a chance he might get cut again. Right? I'm not Pichu's saying. Not I, I'm not. I'm not don't, saying. Don't, don't jinx it. You can't get Pichu cut. That's not nice. I'm sorry, he's he's in that camp. He needs to get swole. He needs to he he needs to make up for being weak against that Lapras. 